What's up everybody? Hey man, I did some upgrades off camera to the apartment building and listen, I got an idea. I think we're going to turn the whole project building into my building. Now, I don't know if you can buy lots in the same unit. Now, this one's different. This is the other unit. I did make some upgrades here too, uh, but we're going to actually play in this house. So I'm going to come back to this in a minute, but I got to show y'all what I did. I didn't really go crazy. I just kind of laid out some stuff because I was watching this podcast and I was just playing the game and I was like, yo, let me see what different layouts I can do in these different apartments. So, you know, this apartment, this is the one that we currently we got kids in there now. Wait a minute. They had kids already and they're twins. We have twins, bruh. Now, y'all remember last episode, Nyla was pregnant on the beach. Now we have two kids. I don't even have a two bedroom house. Oh man, I did not know that. Now we have twins. Damn, that's crazy. Mo kids, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So we got that apartment that me and, me and Nyla was in. Make sure y'all go over to the OnlyFans if you want to see that good video I made over there. I put, listen, I be making dope content on OnlyFans, man. I know it's like basically on sims and shit but like honestly the creative the creativity i put into them videos is really cool that's why i like doing them it's not just like the sims smashing it's like i try to really make it feel like a a vibe like i try to capture the what did i just press what the hell go back in the game bro yeah I, I really try to capture the like love and lust and like sexual energy in those videos and i think i do a good job but y'all let me know, the people that go to the OnlyFans, you know what I'm saying? And then we got the second apartment, which I showed y'all last episode, which is the one that I wanted to move them into before they had two kids, which that kind of just threw me all off because I was not expecting them to have two kids. But then we got these other two apartments. I'm going to show you this one first. This is the slightly bigger one. This one is actually a two bedroom, I think. So I changed the whole layout because, like I said, I was just listening to this podcast and I was whatever. I was actually listening to the Hodge twins had on. Uh, I think his name is Robert Kennedy. One of the he's an independent candidate. And I was just listening to him uh, talking and shit. So this is the second apartment. I think this is a great layout. So basically what I did was this used to be the bedroom and I made this the kitchen and the living room. It's not really decorated. No kind of way. I just put the basics in and then we got a bedroom there, a little bedroom here main bathroom and then an ensuite bathroom so i was like yo this is kind of a good layout for a two bedroom i'm, I'm kind of feeling this but of course you know we got to put a lot more effort into it if we decide to live here oh i got new sounds i gotta put on here too i got a bunch of new sounds y'all i ain't even put them on here yet i might have to do that i might do it with y'all for real I told you, I'm, I'm treating this whole thing different, bro. We playing a game to have fun. We talking shit. We being, we being 100% authentic. If people fuck with it, they fuck with it. If they don't, they can kick rock. Because I'm about to just be me 100. And then we about to focus on other shit. But this is about to keep going. And the only way this is going to keep going if I could be 1,000 with y'all. And y'all like me being 1,000 with y'all. So that's what we going to always do. So, and what I mean by that is I'm not about to dance around this little Sims community or any other community about what they feel and what they believe. I'm going to just be me 100 and if they like it, cool. If they don't, they can go on about their business. It's because it'll just be more fun for the real ones. You know what I'm saying? Mostly when we start getting into streaming and shit. So this is going to be the other apartment. Now, this is the apartment that that Indian dude and his mama lived in. I know y'all know who I'm talking about if you got this this pack. They died a long time ago, though. But this is the new layout I got for that apartment. Now, that apartment used to look totally different. It was like a living room over here and all of that. So what I did was I made this a master bedroom, this a third bedroom, and this a second bedroom. This the main bathroom. And then we got the kitchen, nice kitchen, big open kitchen, beautiful kitchen. And then we got a living room right there, the dining room, the fireplace. Of course, nothing's really decorated or done up nice, but this is the layout. I was like, yo, that's kind of a good layout for a three bedroom house. And I could even take that down a little bit more and make the hallway a little slimmer. And then we can make this bedroom a little bit bigger if we wanted to put like a full size bed in here. You could easily do that on this side or that side so i think this is gonna be really nice i don't know if we're gonna buy any of these apartments because like i just said we got two babies now in the nyla sunny household and you know i'm kind of like why stop there keep having more kids man honey baby challenge job finished job not finished that's one of the new sounds too and i ain't even get it put in yet that's all right 
we'll do it we'll do it but we're gonna go back into this household now I, i'm really a fan of these apartments y'all know that i'm surprised i'm not surprised because it used to be a pain in the ass but now that it's easy to change the windows i really like modernizing and making these apartments look cooler so that might be something we do more often is renovate these apartments because i really like the fact you can change the windows like an apartment like this so like an apartment like this this is a really small apartment that i you know typically wouldn't really want to live in but if you really think about it and we really are able to take these windows off i'm gonna just do this for a hot second it's only gonna take me a minute so we could put these new windows in which will help give us a little bit of a idea we could actually leave that one missing if we wanted to and throw that in right there yeah so like instead of us having to do exactly what they want us to do we could just even though i don't really mind this layout i don't know why we got metal there though matter of fact you know what since those pipes is in the wall we could just do that take this move this out cuff that in i said cuff it in block it in and then boom something like that this is a really really small apartment though this is like really really small I almost want to decorate this just because it's so small. It would be a hell of a challenge to try and make this look good. It almost makes me want to do it. We got another thing that's stuck over here in the wall, this little access panel. I mean, I like the fact that they do that, but I kind of hate the fact that they do that because it can really mess up your design when you're trying to build around it because you can't put a window there because then it ain't gonna make no sense. I don't know, this is a challenge. This is definitely a challenge trying to make this a nice apartment because this joint is toe up. This joint is toe up. Y'all hype for the eclipse. It probably didn't already happen. It didn't probably opened up the gates to hell already. <laughs> hey, y'all know about all that shit, y'all, man. I learned a whole lot about this shit. I always knew about the collider, right? But did y'all know all the like deep inner workings of the collider and like the rituals and shit they do there? It's crazy, man. Y'all look it up. Type in CERN. Shit, just type in CERN and you'll see all kind of stories. Like, and what's crazy about them is they not really conspiracies because it's just like facts. A lot of the shit is just facts. Like they do these ritualistic plays and they the scientists was talking about how they was concerned about opening up uh, different dimensions and like it's crazy shit y'all it's crazy shit for sure but uh yeah i don't know what they doing i don't know what they doing i don't know what they got planned but all i know is christ is king you know what i'm saying that's all i know so whatever they bring up in this bitch you gotta have your own self 100 so you ain't worried about it okay so this is the new layout what i would do what would i do you know my first my first part is always where's the living room gonna go because where the living room goes is where the kitchen's gonna go and everything else where would the living room go how do we want to set up a living room here um we could kind of keep the same layout we could keep the same layout so maybe do living room still kitchen here with the island the stools block that couch bedroom bathroom where it was we could probably still do that we could probably still stick with that i don't know how much just for the sake of the, the layout i always use the same furniture just because you know uh, like i know exactly the flow of it and that's just gonna make everything good but yeah i was hype man i'm hype about the uh, solar eclipse but what i didn't know and this is why it got me on that whole little rabbit hole with cern is i didn't know during the eclipse they're gonna turn the collider on again and they're doing it specifically during the eclipse because they're trying to find dark matter i believe they're trying to find dark matter and uh at least that's what they say they're doing who really knows but uh it's it's, it's really interesting man it's very interesting and i suggest y'all look it up and check it out because it's very interesting what's going on that we don't even know about and then like it's in the bible about where it is it's like the seat of hell or some shit is where they put it it's deep it's very deep it's a whole lot deeper than i than i thought it was i just knew, i knew about the collider and like them always doing the stuff with the particles and all of that but i never knew that it had such a, a ritualistic aspect to it and like all this extra shit i never knew about all that and i'm always looking for a reason not to believe in something just because you know conspiracy theories can be crazy we all know that and y'all know i always told y'all i'm never gonna be a radicalized person man i'm always gonna be really objective and look at everything for what it is 
and no matter if it fits what i want it to fit or it doesn't like as much as i want aliens to be real if something don't make sense then it ain't gonna make sense and i do that with everything even even with like diddy and r kelly like as much as i know they probably guilty you still gotta keep an open mind and be like all right well maybe they not you know what i'm saying let's hear the evidence first before you start just going crazy but that's how you that's how i look at it some people just be like oh yeah he guilty you know he guilty he sucks he's this he's that but it's like but you gotta look at shit kind of impartial because it'll cloud your judgment and they could pull a fast one on you and do some reverse psychology on you and get you to believe some shit that ain't really there and what i mean by that is like well i don't want to get too well fuck that i get too like how to use politics man they use politics a lot with that now of course people waking up to it now but before it'd be like oh well a democrat said that or a republican said that and then that would instantly make the people on the other side think it's crazy or think it's stupid see me personally i always look at shit like okay they said that that shit crazy or they said that okay that shit crazy but I'm not going to just dismiss it because, say, Trump said it or Biden said it. Like, I'm not just going to automatically dismiss it. I got to hear it, analyze it, and then I can say, okay, yeah, that motherfucker crazy. Or, yeah, he talking some crazy shit. Because if you just dismiss it, it's a reverse psychology that the other party uses. But minus the parties, because that's just the bare minimum, you got to use that shit in society because the people that really run this bitch be pulling fast ones on us all the time. So you got to keep it 100 and be like, all right, let me look at everything and what's really going on. Then you be straight because you really powerful because can't nobody rattle you. You know what I mean? Like nothing can really rattle you. Nothing, nothing can get you like out of your character. And a lot of people that do dark shit, like the, the people that run the world type shit, who knows who they are or what they are. I don't even think they're human personally, but hey, who knows? They use the, our emotions against us all the time. So the most powerful thing you can do is actually be in total control of your emotions so they can't really manipulate you in different directions and pull you in different ways and mess with your head one of the most powerful things you could do is learn how to control your emotions and don't let nothing rattle you and get you outside of your character and look at everything you know what I'm saying really as what it is but you know we just chatting man we just playing the sims what do i know right that's how i like to end it you know so that's what that way they can't fuck with me they can't say oh he's a crazy like nah bro i'm just playing the sims i'm just an og playing the sims i ain't talking about nothing i'm just a crazy og playing the sims but nah for real though man y'all gotta y'all really tap into that what i just told you because i do be noticing some people with the conspiracy shit they get radicalized with it you can't do that because then they're gonna call you crazy and that's gonna take everything that you've learned and throw it out the window as soon as they put you in the crazy box which is what they did with some of the people that have said stuff out loud some of the stuff be true they take one thing you say crazy and they make you crazy even though you said 90 percent of shit that's truth if you say one thing that they can say oh yeah look he's crazy they ain't gonna make you seem crazy to the public and then they ruined everything you work for which you know they can try to do it with anything you do so you got to be careful uh i'm just i kind of like the way this is turning out you see what i'm saying i'm like i'm like kind of liking this whole apartment decorating stuff i don't know something about it just hit different it's like you working with this tight little space every little apartment we do is like really cozy which i like that i like that a lot y'all know you know what i'm saying the apartment's got a near and dear place in my heart i have been using these everywhere though the new ones these counters just because they so cheap and i almost want to use them here just because they are cheap and they also look kind of real they look like real counters, which I do like that. Damn, I didn't realize that was gonna delete the chair too. That's all right. Yeah, I've been doing that like that, which I kind of like the darker look a little bit better. It is what it is. It is what it is. It is what it is. Yo, I need to get that as a sound. It is what it is. Uh, let's do that. Let's do that. Nah, that's the ugliest shit. Never mind. Let's not do that. I was gonna use this one, but that one's too low. That's the only thing about this this set. I like the little refrigerator holder thing, but like, then you gotta have these all the way down here which I guess makes sense. They really got these ceilings stupid high for some reason. I don't know why, but they do. I'm not a fan at all. I wish they made the, I mean, I, I get that apartments have tall ceilings, but like no apartment I've ever been in have had ceilings this tall, mostly low end apartments. Like what, where, you know, who created the apartment pack that thought that the cheap ass apartments had these tall ass ceilings? I don't know, but you talking about shit when i was growing up we could only put a six foot tree in the apartment 
I think we ended up getting a six and a half foot though. So I think they were seven feet ceilings. I'm pretty sure. I think that's the standard like apartment height, seven feet. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I do remember getting an upgrade because we had a six foot tree, which was really like a five, five foot tree. And then when we got that six and a half foot tree, it was like a giant tree in the apartment. It's so crazy. It's so wild how that little apartment has so many good memories from me and it's just a little cheap ass apartment <laughs> like it just show you like the real things that matter in life bro they it's not money focused at all some of the best stuff you have in life and experience in life is actually free as it should be though i mean you know what I'm saying when you really think about it like think of a cat or a dog they experience their whole life without even thinking about money it's not really what we're supposed to be doing but we have to because we live in the, the world so we got to be able to navigate it and money is definitely a tool to navigate it but i just um damn i didn't realize i gotta put a door somewhere <laughs> how you gonna get in the bedroom if you ain't got no door bruh gotta get you a dough bruh give me a dough ski give me a dough ski man give me a cheap ass dough let me get a little cheap dough mm, do i put a door do i put the door here or do i put the door here if i put the door dear here i can't have that if i put the door here i gotta move this over or make this smaller which kills that vibe a little bit as well damn i don't want to do either one what if i move that over and put the door there mm, i mean these pipes are literally in the way but like i don't know if they register as an item or not I I think that'll work actually and then with the bedroom we could easily just take this throw a bed in there this way like these do the nightstands little plant and this place is nice man so this is what i'm saying i'm really i don't know i'm really good at decorating and decorating these little places i actually prefer decorating these little places now because you're able to really get detail with the with the with the little pieces you know what i'm saying like we could really go in here and be like all right i'm gonna put this here i'm gonna put that there when you build them really really big houses it's like you don't really want to spend days trying to do each little little tiny detail this is who i was just referring to when i said they make him crazy in the public eye even though bro be saying some crazy shit i'm not gonna lie but when you say like a lot of real stuff but you say it in a crazy way they'll make you sound crazy and it'll ruin every point that you tried to make that this is one part too that i really like about the way i do this with youtube now is I actually make shorts and people that don't watch my videos will still get the information when I'm spitting some shit, when I'm spitting some knowledge. I'm not doing the podcast style and all that, but we, we spit more knowledge, you know what I'm saying? We just do toilet, sink, bath, shower combo. This is how most apartments are set up, not gonna lie. It's actually this way. If you live in an apartment and your bathroom set up like this, you already know what I'm talking about. Even small houses actually are set up like this. I always sink, toilet, bathtub. So that'll be the bathroom. So yeah, man, this was just a little quick renovation. We're going to actually get into the game, though, in a second. I just wanted to see if we could turn this into something nice, and we definitely can, which is why I said I want to start doing this more often because these little apartments are actually my favorite to decorate, and you could really make them look nice and spend some time. Like, I'm not even going to spend a whole lot of time in here because we got to do more with the pictures and all of that, but, like, you can really go crazy and make this stuff hit different. You can really spend the time and make this stuff hit different if you want to you know what i'm saying but yeah i like that i think we're gonna do that more often because that actually came out really nice and that was the crappiest apartment i think in the whole game and it actually looks pretty good mostly for a single person even two people could live there that was in the one that oh yeah that was this one see look how much better these are looking too all i gotta do is touch it man i mean you see how much better it look right because that's why it's the goat the goat I'm just saying, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm real humble. I got another good one I got to put in here with Snoop saying, this motherfucker don't miss. <laughs> I got to get that in there because I don't be missing with some of the shit I be doing. I got to have that. I got a lot of good sounds, man. But uh, let's get back into the household with Summer now because I think Lillian is about to give birth. If I'm not mistaken because as soon as I ended that last episode, it said she was in labor. And it was so dumb because off camera, I spent so much money. I spent all the money they made just making small details to their house and it pretty much looks exactly the same but i made the house look a little bit better so i'll show y'all what i did so let's just go on the bottom so you can tell right here just right here alone i made some upgrades we put the coffee tables in we added some candles flowers a new tv stand new tv 
a bunch of plants over here this is what cost the most i changed the cabinets and i didn't cheat because that's defeating the whole point so changing these cabinets ended up taking up like three or four thousand extra dollars after i deleted the other ones so this took a lot of money but i was trying to make it look kind of detailed with the little plate right there we got the plant on the refrigerator the bread you know the switches the ingredients over there just to kind of give it that feel of like being more lived in we do need to buy a vacuum though because we got dust bunnies everywhere of course we got the logo because we got to represent and then the living room looks a lot better the dining room is the same i think i added a few candles right there i gotta give me a doberman bro what y'all think should i give me a doberman any of y'all got dobermans or dogs in general what y'all say should i get one should i get a dog chat i would definitely want this right here exactly like this same same exact look i want the ears cropped i don't give a fuck about what peter got to say the ears gotta be cropped we gotta have a big diamond choker you know what i'm saying he gotta be tough i never realized how dope this picture is too she looking good too i always noticed the dog i didn't really notice her that much but she looking pretty nice as well you know what i'm saying a little doberman joint some people so against cropping the ears and it's like bruh i mean whatever bro like we get piercings we get tattoos we get shit that hurts to look cool too so it's like dog just gonna have to wear his little band-aids for a minute and then we made some upgrades in the bathroom instead of having two toilet rooms i did a little bathtub i didn't even really do nothing here i just stuck these on the wall i gotta make them look better i also changed the sinks i made the sinks look cooler um that ended up costing too much money because those sinks were like seven to eight hundred dollars each and then in the shower i added a bunch of cheap plants just because when I shot that OnlyFans video, it was so dope in here, but it was like it needed a little something. So you got the little chair in here. If you want to sit down while you're in the shower, you got your shampoo. You got some plant action to feel like, you know, you part of nature. Which honestly, I kind of want to put plants in my shower in real life. I feel like plants in the shower make the most sense. No, they don't because they don't get no sunlight, actually. Now I'm thinking about it. They got to have some sunlight. And then in the bedrooms, in Summer's room, we got a picture of Rome, the Rome, the picture from last episode. We got that stuck on the wall, which looks really dope. Rome is killing it in that picture. I'm not going to lie. No Diddy. He definitely got some model action going. And then in little Sonny Jr.'s room, you got Lillian on the wall after she seen it, after he whipped it out on her. And that's a good picture, too. That's a, that's a very good picture. So in Summer painted both of those which is really dope cool storyline you know what i mean but that was the little upgrades we did off camera had to let y'all know before we jump into the game but i think the living room and kitchen area looks really nice now so where are we at where are we at is she actually giving birth yes see right here it says pregnant in labor so is she actually in labor and where the hell is she is she down here oh she is down here y'all down here building a snowman i ain't gonna lie rome you be hanging around lillian a lot bro damn i didn't realize we have literally one dollar one dollar bro that's because when i was decorating i went to um decorations and just tried to buy all the little stuff to make this the thing feel better the house feel better and it was all like a dollar like a dollar plant dollar plant and it was like i got it all the way down to one dollar i need to go to the hospital yeah have baby at hospital and let's join her let's send sunny daniel jr romeo oh you can only have one person all right let's send sunny jr Let's send Junior. We got to send Junior. We got to send Junior. Does that create static? We got to send Junior. I turned up the high on the mic too because last episode it was like right here. And I think that was too muffled. So I turned up the high. Damn, we got a ghost in here? Hold up. Y'all are screaming in my ear. We got ghosts? All right, Lillian. Um, psh, Bruh, where's the sound at? I mean, that's ridiculous. She got big old titties. Holy shit. I mean, it's crazy. Not gonna lie, it's crazy. I think they're gonna go back to normal size once she gives birth. Okay, so since we're here, we gotta check in, right? Do we do we check in? Wicked. No, we're not doing wicked whims, bruh. We gotta check in, right? Shout forbidden words. I thought we had to check in. I swear I thought you had to actually check in. We'll do a friendly introduction just because. She's actually waiting in the waiting room. That's kind of crazy. Don't watch TV. Talk to that girl with the damn FedEx hair. Huh. I guess that's I guess that's just what we do. We just gotta wait. And then she'll have a baby here, right? Give birth. Your sim isn't fully dilated yet. Oh, okay. So we just waiting around. I didn't know that. All right, we well, all just sit and wait then. <laughs> She's not happy. That's for damn sure. 
Yeah. Where FedEx going? She got that FedEx hair going like crazy with green teeth. <laughs> she just got up. I was about to do some romance. Yeah, I was just trying to do a little romance. You know what I'm saying? We about to give birth type shit. Welcome to the clinic. Uh, that's cool so you actually just chill out and just relax in the meantime and just wait for her to get dilated that's really cool kind of feels like a hospital right waiting room i'm not gonna lie this part right here they did a good job capturing like the hospital feel on a snowstorm though she about to give birth in the middle of a snowstorm man look at this snow this snow is crazy it's kind of beautiful though when you look at it. Got the cars going by. I meant to check and make sure there's a. I meant to check and see if there's a mod for uh replacing the cars just driving around with custom content cars. Because if there is, that's gonna really make that fit. Look at this. This look like a little scene right here. Look at this. Look at this pan action. We got some. We got some Christmas pan action going. Some winter pan action. That shit is beautiful. I ain't gonna lie. Look at look at that. 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 Look at that pan action. That shit looking gorgeous. Need to play some music. I don't even have no music to play in here. Sunny Daniel Enterprises. Where in the hell did you find a computer at, bro? Oh, he already in the back. Where is your girl at? She's still in the waiting room. They turn the lights off? Why is it so damn dark in here now? That's weird. It got hella dark. Go for a walk. What does that do? We going for a walk outside? Where are you going? Oh yeah, we can walk around the hospital, I guess. Or maybe not. Oh yeah, we can walk around the hospital. Maybe that helps with getting her dilated, maybe? Not sure how that works, but seem like it's doing something she walking around damn i didn't realize how big the hospital was it's actually pretty big in here look at that this right here from this angle reminds me that of that part in final fantasy the original where we had to like go up in the shinra building only the ones that watch final fantasy understand what i'm talking about but it kind of looks like that don't it kind of a vibe kind of a vibe she's enraged because she is uncomfortable i'm done from early labor why is this taking so long lily knew if it would be this painful she did not sign up for this damn so she going through hell trying to give birth it's crazy because i don't never remember it taking this long for her to for other people to give birth lillian going through hell trying to give birth and it's really taking a long time for her to give birth yo she's been walking around this hospital for like it's probably been like three or four sim hours i don't even know i ain't been keeping track but yeah it was seven o'clock when i saw it getting dark it's already 12 lifestyle at risk summer is at risk of losing her outdoors out lifestyle unless she wants that to happen damn why are you outside in the cold <laughs> She out there in the winter. Go back, go back in the hospital, yo. What are you doing? She out there in the cold trying to give birth. Look at look at Lillian, yo. That's crazy. She gonna freeze to death if she don't take her ass back in the building, though. Just go sit down, yo. Man, what in the hell? Santa Claus trying to get busy. No, bruh. What's wrong with you? Trying to get busy with Sonny Jr. in the hospital. What the hell is wrong with you, Santa? You're not even a real Santa. The real Santa's black. I made him. Santa really was just trying to get busy with my son, bro. Stop talking to me. What the hell's wrong with you? Doing, doing, doing. Damn, look at this. I didn't even tell them to do that. This is a very romantic, lovely little picture, isn't it? W Jr. She's st she struggling, man. She ain't. She still ain't giving birth. Look at my boy trying to make it better, though. Look at the background, man. It's kind of beautiful over here, for real. They should let us build on this lot. This is a really nice lot. Look at the look at the scenery. You imagine having a crib? You see all this in the back? Mostly like a real like cozy like coffee shop. This would have been a good spot for a coffee shop. I don't even know where this is, though. I don't think the hospital is actually a place, is it? I have never waited in the hospital this long after being in labor. I didn't even know it was possible to take this long can she sleep anywhere she's not fully dilated yet so she can't give birth try and get her energy up by taking a nap on the couch damn junior actually had to go to work well that got her mood up got her her what you call it up yo lillian when you giving birth yo i'm about to have to leave your ass here in a minute have baby at hospital ain't that what we doing are we not having baby at the hospital right now let's just send lillian alone she's already at the hospital but we're gonna send her to the hospital alone and see what happened okay it worked i don't know what was going on we had a girl okay so last name gonna be daniel and then the first name let's look what we gonna pick we got sydney colleen bobby linda christy kiera sierra tamara ashley destiny 
Misty Lily Liliana 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 or is that Leilani Juliana Colleen uh, Hazel's kind of nice I kind of like Hazel Hazel's not a bad name but if Hazel don't have Hazel eyes it ain't gonna make a lot of sense I'm not gonna lie if Hazel don't have Hazel eyes it ain't gonna make no sense but we're gonna try it anyway oh shit she has twins what is with it with these twins another baby girl I'm officially damn did you hear that whistle <laughs> I'm officially a grandfather that is crazy so we got Hazel, and what about Aya? That was one, Isla, is that Isla? Aya's a good name, I'm not gonna lie. Twins, we literally just had twins twice. My dude had twins and she just had twins. Two girls, so we got two twin girls. We got a boy and a girl in my crib. All kind of kids, man. All kind. Two children, two children, man. Where are they even at right now? Are oh, they put them, in, that's crazy, they put them in the bedroom. They just floating in midair because I think I have so many mods in here that it actually broke the game somewhat. Or maybe it's like that so you can buy your own carriage. It looks like you can move the babies around. All right, let's put them both on these squares and let's see if we can buy them a bed. I'm pretty sure that's why that's like that, but I don't know for sure. So if I put, say I put, how much is this? $10, good shit. If we put this here and that there, would you be able to place them in the... I'm not really sure. Let's place one that way and one this way. I don't think that's how they go though. I mean, they look good in there, but, oh shit. Let's see if that works. Wait, 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 wait. How do you change the diaper? They're crying in stereo right now. She can't get to him. I had a feeling that was gonna be the case. I don't know why that's like that though. So let's just turn them. They're just gonna be floating in midair, that's all. They're gonna be floating in midair. I'm gonna age them up pretty soon anyway, cause I hate this I hate this baby stage. I really do. Change the diaper, change the diaper. If y'all got a baby, let me know in the comments. What's your, what was the worst stage of having a kid? Minus the pregnancy part, like after they were born. I feel like this is the stage that's the most annoying. But some people say it's not. Some, some people say babies are easy because they just eat and shit and go to sleep. But y'all let me know. Didn't we change the diaper? Oh, we got to feed him. We gonna breastfeed the other one. Yo, I had saw this crazy article one time where this dude was trying to breastfeed a baby. I mean, do your thing, do what you wanna do, but I mean, why is your baby sucking your nipples, bro? Ain't shit coming out your titties? Shit was wild. Why are they still crying, bro? Lily ain't getting her parenting skills up, though. W mom, W mom, W mom. That's one of the most beautiful things in the world, man. The, the, the motherhood, the mother like giving birth and taking care of the kids. That's literally what life is about though. You know what I'm saying? Without that, we have nothing. Hey, Rome, you good with fixing shit? Try to fix the refrigerator for me, bro. Don't hire nobody. I didn't mean to click that. Don't hire nobody. You fix it. Your mama used to be good with this shit, so maybe you good with it, too. Because Nyla used to fix everything uh. in the house. Don't die, though, bro. His sister calling. You could chat. He likes handiness. Sonny Daniel's calling. Yeah, for sure. Talk to your pops. W, son. Lillian, you doing it all. You cleaning up and everything. Oh, you know what? I need a trash can. I need a trash can, y'all. Let's get us a trash can real quick. A little trash can. I like this one. How much is this? $1,000. Maybe we don't need that one. Maybe we could just get this little simple plastic one and stick it over there. Or stick it over here. Maybe we should stick it right here so it's out the way. You ain't got to see it. Throw that. Matter of fact, I'll throw it away. I'll throw it away. I would like to get a vacuum though, because this floor is full of dust bunnies. And you can barely tell because the colors of the floor, but like we definitely need the vacuum. Definitely. 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 The dirt hoarder herder 5000. Is that the best vacuum? We don't need the best vacuum. We just need a vacuum. The dirt herder. I mean, we might as well get a nice vacuum though, right? Uh, yeah, let's just do it. Let's just do it. Hey, Lillian, since you WW everything right now, go ahead and vacuum around real quick. She's still in her hospital gown. Probably should have changed that so she don't look like we got her working right at the hospital. We still got dust bunnies though. Okay. 
Got to keep an eye on them babies. All right, cool. Now we got rid of the dust bunnies. Good shit. Good shit. Oh, I figured out what was causing the um the issue with the bed, too. If y'all commented that, I appreciate y'all. What it was was the cuddle. I had a cuddle mod, and it was messing it up. So if y'all had that problem, it's a cuddle mod. Was she going to work? All right, Junior, you got to make sure you take care of these kids, bruh. So now the sleep thing works. Matter of fact, you can go to sleep right now because you need to go to sleep, and then you can hear them cry. Summer, how are you in here? I thought I locked this so people can't come in here. This day bedroom. You can't be just coming in a bedroom like that. You got to lock this for everybody but me and then unlock it for Lillian. And the same go for they room, which I think they room is fine, though. Romeo, what you cooking? Look at Rome. Look at Rome. Look at Rome. I love this kitchen, man. I put the encounter stove and it just looks really cool look at that snow man that shit is beautiful this is why i love apartment living though i wish you could see through the windows a little clear but but look how much of a vibe it is in here though it's just it's like Mavadish. it's mavadish you know what i'm saying that's what he just said it's mavadish i wish the windows was clear though if any of y'all know a mod to make the windows clear like so you could see like this through them you imagine how beautiful that would be if you could see out the window that clear instead of it being all fogged up and nasty because i mean the windows don't fog up like that unless you cooking and i don't even think that would happen in such a big house who the fuck is this bitch kamala Papatra. She got big ass titties too. Everybody got big titties in here. Everybody got okay. big old titties. Where you going though? Why you walking all over my house like you own the place? You got your toes done and shit? You got your toes done and shit? Look at that. Look at that. Kamala Patatra. Keep fucking around. I'm gonna upgrade you. Who is this bitch? Why are all of y'all just walking through my house like this? I was just thinking, should I give him an upgrade? Kind of want to, kind of don't. I don't know why they just came in my house like that. That was crazy. See if we can get Romeo to go to sleep too. That way time will go even faster. We made $2,000 today though. That's good. We need it. I'm gonna have Summer get on that painting though when she get up. Who just got up? All oh, the babies crying. <laughs> I love this outfit she got on right now. This is that Tommy Hill figure joint with the low top. See, her titties back, back normal size now. I wanted them to be big, but I, they were getting comedically big. Mostly for somebody with such a small frame. That shit was getting crazy. Look at SZA. SZA and Rome, basically. What you watching? Get Out? That was a crazy movie, thinking about it. That shit is crazy. She turned that shit off. She was like, yeah, this movie's getting a little wild. I'm turning this shit off, yo. Where anybody go to work? She go to, she's on family leave, so she ain't got to work right now, which is cool. Rome go to work in nine hours. Junior go to work in 11. Summer go to work in 11. And then family leave. Leave. I need Summer to go ahead and do this though. She need to finish painting this because we can get some money. She making a lot of money off these paintings now. More money than she making from going to work. She only get $12 a hour or $29 an hour at work. She almost get like $2,000 a painting now. Let's see if she can get on that painting real quick. Look at look at Summer, man. Summer got that perfect, like I like all type of builds, but she got a good build. She got that kind of build that's thick, but it's got just the right amount of thickness on it. <laughs> It's like she got that perfect thick build. All right, we definitely selling this one. Sell for two thousand. That's a funny ass picture though. Sell for two thousand. See, look at that. That's a lot of money she making. Let's do another one off reference. Let's do something fun though. Let's let's try to do something fun. I never did get a good picture of Sunny Junior, did I? Should we try again? Oh look, do a uh do a reference painting. It ain't gonna be enough time. It's not enough time. Let's just take a picture of this. This is a nice little picture right here. Take a picture of that. In the meantime, maybe I can find a cool pose. Oh, his pose is right here. How did I not see this the first time? Okay. Okay, that's perfect. Matter of fact, Summer, stop. Scrap that painting. Scrap that painting. Scrap that painting. Your boy right here is like perfectly posing. Scrap that. Scrap that. Hurry up before he messes up. Then do a uh, reference. Large. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. That's my boy right there. Yeah. 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 That's dope. Let's get that one right there. That's a good one. That's one to be proud of, son. I ain't gonna lie. You can stop posing. I didn't even know I had a pose pack. I could have been using that this whole time. I'm trying to use Wicked Whims. W. Lillian taking care of all the kids. <laughs> She doing all that shit on her own. I ain't even got to tell you what to do. Lillian killing it, yo. W mom, yo. W mom. She letting her she letting her instincts take over. She don't even need me. Oh, yeah, this is coming out nice, man. Look at that picture. That's dope. Finally, my son, finally Junior got one. That's a good one. And see, that fits him, too. 
Cause that's the whole thing. Like Junior kind of like smooth and shit. Where Rome is a little bit more rough around the edges. And I like that because it's like two different. It's like both my personalities and both my children. I like that. You know what I'm saying? Cause I'm like Rome half the time, and then I'm like Junior half the time. I got my smooth, clean, and then I got the rough, rugged. You know what I mean? So we got him a picture. So how we gonna what we gonna put these at? The only person that got a good picture is Summer. But it's like, how the hell is Summer gonna get a picture? If she's the one painting the picture. Can you do a self-portrait? We do a figure painting. Classic. Oh no, I'm on the wrong person. Go to she could do impressionism. I don't even know what that is. Classic, abstract, surreal. I don't know what impressionism is, but we're gonna try it. Let's try impressionism. Where should I put that picture of Sonny Jr.? They decided to start wicked women, wicked women's. This is a nice apartment though. And what's cool about now that I'm doing all of this is that now I'm decorating every unit, even though this one don't have every unit, it's making it feel like it's a totally different building because it's all glass on that center floor. I guess this is what impressionism is. It just looks like a, more like a abstract kind of thing, unless that's supposed to be an actual object, which I can't really make out what that would be. It looked dope though, whatever it is. Probably about to make like 2000 off that joint. I think the more famous she gets too, the more money she'll make. Damn Summer, you ain't make nothing off that. You need to stick to the, we need to stick to the reference paintings. We'll do the living room like how we was gonna do the first time. All right, Junior going to work. Liana, she sleep. She ain't got to go to work, right? Yeah, she on family leave still. Where is she at, by the way? She's only on level two of her career. That ain't really, that ain't really crazy. Oh, Summer can go to work now too. I need to have her go to work, even though she probably gonna make more money just painting at home. But we might as well get that extra money too, cause we trying to, we trying to live. We actually doing pretty good though. Rags the riches, man. We doing good. That's what make this the most fun series ever because we really, we really made a lot out of this. I was gonna have you kiss the babies on the forehead, but we could go this way. We just gonna follow Liana, you know what I'm saying? We're gonna just follow Liana around the pan action. Supposed to get a babies a kiss on the forehead. She getting her parenting skill up crazy. What's her parenting skill at right now? She's already at a level three. And she just had kids. We ain't even got into the full parenting thing yet. That's precious. It looked like the babies, I don't know, the eyes are kind of light. There's people down here on the ground level doing stuff, eating. Look, they down there eating. Wow, we got this whole apartment up there. That's really cool. You don't realize how much is going on down on the ground level while you up here in the building. All right, you took care of the babies. Now you can make yourself something to eat for sure. Let's just have lunch. Let's just do a garden salad. Keep it simple. Keep it real simple. You know what I mean? Watch, we can watch Lillian make a garden salad. That's why I love making my own houses because it just make watching them move around in your creation that much better. I could sit here and watch Lillian cut up tomatoes. Her name is Lillian, right? Yeah, Lillian. I keep getting it twisted with Lily and Liana and Lee Le 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 Lee Lee Lee. I keep getting it mixed up with Lee Lee Lee. Making that garden salad, man. Damn. See, that's why I kept it on, on something simple, because you end up setting yourself on fire trying to make something simple. That's all you got to do, right? Yeah. Just mix that bowl up, get you some garden salad. Don't drop the bowl. Drop the bowl anyway, man. You're going you to have a bunch of nothing for dinner. Pour it in there. Got you a little garden salad. See what I'm saying? W meal right there. W meal. Everybody at work still, let's just go ahead and speed up the time a little bit. Oh, I bought a ceiling fan too. That was another bigger purchase. That was a cheap ceiling fan and it still was like $200. Got to feed the children. Change the diapers. Hold up. Hold up. Come back. Change the diapers. Where you at? Okay, she coming, she coming. All right, good shit, good shit. Rome back at the house. How much you bring home, Rome? You ain't really making that much money compared to Summer, man. Summer the one bringing home all the dough. When does she get home? At five? Oh, she about to be home in a minute. I just want to see how much she brings home. She get home exactly at five o'clock. I could do the math myself, but I'm being lazy. I'm being lazy like a baby. Who the hell is Patrick Swayze? $232. That's gotta be a joke, right? Ain't no way Summer went to work and brought home 200 and some dollars. That's crazy. Cause in that point, what is the point of her even going to work? She making more money selling stuff at home than she is going to do that. 
Let's see how much she make from this painting. Mostly the reference painting. Them joints is bringing in the big dough. That was crazy. I think I'm gonna quit her job. I mean, she is on a level four. I don't know if you get a lot more money in the future from being a painter, but for right now, it seems kind of like a waste of time. Cause look, we could sell that to the art gallery. That's $1,500 and she got fame points for that let's do another uh reference painting though get a picture of her uh we'll get yeah we'll just zoom in get a picture of her on the phone something light something light liana actually got to go to work now so that means junior got to take care of the kids damn look at all these dirty diapers y'all y'all gotta get these dirt dirty diapers up man your mood ain't really that bad bro you can get up and clean up if you really y'all just living in filth all them damn dirty diapers i wish they would fix this this only happens in the apartments when you go into tab mode it's like it glitches up it only do that in the apartment buildings though man we are not doing this they always be trying to wicked whim people they ain't supposed to what is this chance of a lifetime lillian's time on stage is winding down and she sees the next entertainer waiting in the wings as she's about to return the microphone to the stand she notices a man in a business suit take a seat in the back of the club apart from the crowd instead of nursing a drink he pulls out a notepad and seems intent on taking notes could this be a talent agent searching for up-and-coming entertainers her mind racing Lillian has to suddenly decide if she wants to selfishly perform an encore or cede the spotlight to the next entertainer shit I'm gonna go ahead and perform that encore I'm doing that encore fuck that okay Lillian just got Lillian just got a fame star yeah I'm doing that encore yo that's dope so both the girls about to be famous she gonna be a famous artist she gonna be a famous singer all right, good job, Summer. Good job. You be you be killing it. I ain't gonna lie. Sell that to, for twenty four hundred dollars. Twenty four hundred dollars, yo. Now I do. There is a building I want to buy, y'all. There is a building I want to buy, or Summer wants to buy. <laughs> it is buy a residential rental. Nah. You know what? Let me go out. Let me go out. There's a building because I I was messing with it a little bit off camera. I didn't do nothing with it though. I just deleted the old one and put in a box and a roof and a couple tree planters but i want to make this an art gallery so eventually i want summer to be able to buy her own art gallery and sell her art in the art gallery for probably way more money and it's gonna be right here by the house too it's gonna be this spot right here i think i need to change what kind of lot it is though because we want to make it a, a retail lot retail lot so i tell your bitch she a thought you know what i'm saying oh look wait this ain't the lot this ain't the lot this is the lot right here i picked the wrong one make it a retail lot so i can tell your bitch she a thought make it retail lot so i can tell your bitch she a thought ha 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 <laughs> this lot don't even register as like a lot i don't even notice it half the time but yeah off camera i was messing with it because i was like yo this might be kind of cool i gotta dye my hair man you see all that gray right there that ain't nothing but gray hair yo grandpa over here all right so this lot right here i want to have summer buy this lot and turn it into an actual art studio this is all i did with it so far i just built a roof and a big open box but i want this to be an art studio now i've never been to an art studio before so i don't know exactly how they set up i think they set up with like fake walls like this right it'd be like a fake wall and then like another fake wall i'm pretty sure that's how art studios are set up and then you got a little bit of room and then you'll have another fake wall another fake wall a little bit of room but i do one two three four well oh, that's gonna kill that ain't it all right maybe i should have spaced this out better let's do the first one right here second one uh, Matter of fact, let's move that one back. Let's move this one back. That's good, right? Something like that. Something like that. Something like that. Something like that. Yeah, that's good. I think that's good. And then we'll do the windows and stuff on the side. I don't know if I want to keep doing these ones that open up like this, but I mean, they kind of are cool. All kind of airflow, but they might be kind of dumb. I don't know if I'm going to keep them. And we could put some art on the back wall too. We'll do back wall, but we'll also have a, uh, we'll have a pretty big window there. See, honestly, instead of having all these damn big ass windows, I probably should just do this. Do one. Oh damn, that actually fit that whole wall, won't it? Yeah. Let's just do two solid ones on the side. I want to have Summer buy it before I really decorate it though. I'm gonna just make all the walls white because I mean, I think that's the color that all art galleries are. We'll just use this color. You got something that's a little bit better. That's not really white, but you ain't just got a white wall somewhere. Yeah, here's one, pure expressions. Yeah, let's just go with that white. And then we'll go white on the outside just because this is white as hell. You want it to be white though so it pops the art. I'm 
pretty sure. So we got the glass roof, which is kind of weird, but that's part of the architecture. I think that's cool. And then if we can, we can get some little cheap ass trees to put out here. How much is these trees? $1. See, I like to see that. I like to see that, man. Give me these $1 trees. Give me a couple. Give me these on the edge. Only downside is I don't think these change with the season, which is kind of lame, but damn, should I not get these because of that? Because I do like them to change with the seasons. It makes the game look more alive when you do that. Damn, these are really big. I just want me a little something small, man. I don't need nothing crazy. Yeah, like this. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. I like them trees, but I don't think they blow in the wind and I don't think they change with the season. So let's not get them. Let's get these on the edge. Those are good for the edge. Completely put that one outside the center. And then maybe like in the middle part, we could take maybe this one, downsize it one. Come on, bro. Take this one, downsize it one. And then maybe take this one in the back, leave it the size it is. Just make it a little different. Mm, is that too many trees? I almost feel like I might have should have put this like right there maybe. And then move this over. Yeah, I like that a little bit better. Because you don't want it to be like where the tree is like too much in the front. You want it just to be enough. Yeah, that's good. That's good. I think that looks like an art studio. What y'all think? I think it looks like an art studio. Close enough. If not exact, close enough. Maybe we'll do a little something like that where the grass is showing through. I'm not trying to spend all day in here, but I do want to just do stuff when I get ideas that'll help us in the future. So we could do like a little bush. I mean, a little whatever. And then maybe since it's an art studio, we do something like a like a little design. Mm, we need another one. To, yeah, maybe just do this. Yeah, see, that's cool. It's a little something like that, man. That look like a nice little art studio. You know it do. We could actually even go up like this if we want it and block that off too. I kind of want to do that. I need to make it actual grass though, not this fake grass, because this is going to not change with the season. But do we care though? Do we care if it changes? I don't think we care. I do not think we care. Control F that bit. Yeah, control F that bit. I was just seeing how much. kind of like that like that. A little bit of cutoff right there. And instead of a square, perfect square on the side, I think I'm gonna do a little triangle cut off. Yeah, that way it just feels a little bit more unique. You see what I'm saying? It's a little bit more unique. And then we'll just block this off. Nah, see, why you do that? It's gonna block it off and it's gonna take the grass pattern I had off. That's all right, that's all right, that's all right. We could always get the grass pattern back or just hit delete and delete it. Oh, there you go, right there. It's perfect. Perfect, you know what I'm saying? Perfect. That's cool. I think that's a good little situation. And then just to represent, I mean, Summer isn't really my family, but she is my family and she's she's building the family name. So I think we're going to put the logo right there just to just to, just to crescent it. You know what I'm saying? Just to put that little crescent on it, just to make it just to make it just that little bit much better. You see what I'm saying? Just that little bit much better. See, look at that. Look at that. Boom. See how much better that look? Just just that little, just that little piece. Just gave it that little on the end. You know what I'm saying? Just that little, just that little piece. I was just putting some lights up. I just was curious. I think one is enough. We don't want to go crazy. We don't want to go crazy. We don't need all that. We don't need all that. That's good enough. We got a little bit of light action. Matter of fact, we could do some stuff out here with the solar lights too. So we could do like a little walkway. Damn, the lighting out here looks kind of good right now, don't it? Got that little glow. It almost looked like a, a real game, like some 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 real shit. I ain't gonna lie, this looking kind of good, y'all. This little shadow we got going looking real nice. Just stick that up in the corner like that. I kind of like what I'm doing with this though, actually. Wait, did I miss this one? But I spaced that and then I did one. Oh, I did one here. Space. How in the hell? So I did one there. Oh, I missed one. Let's do one there on the other side too. Right there. Even though we don't have to, I just think it'll look better. Yeah, that's actually kind of nice, y'all. That looked like a looked like an expensive house all of a sudden. That wasn't really the goal here at all. We could put a couple of these out here. Damn. What we doing? We making this bit look official. I ain't gonna lie. With very minimum effort too. We ain't really doing that much, but it just automatically started looking really good. That's every two. Yeah, that's every two. Damn, that came out looking good, man. And then we could really, we could park a car or something over here if we just wanted to show it out. We ain't got nothing that, that's gonna be cheap enough. I don't wanna make this lot too expensive. So, and we ain't really trying to show off an old ass Chevy Impala. Yo. We should make a car dealership too. I ain't gonna lie. A car dealership would be kind of dope. 
We selling old ass buckets. Toyota Camry and a Chevy Impala from like 2000 and a long time ago. <laughs> 2000 and a long time ago. This will actually be a nice dealership though. It's gonna be an art studio for summer, but how much is that worth? Can y'all read that? How much is that worth? This camera's literally right there. How much does that say? 23,000? Damn, that's a lot of money. What costs so much? What costs so much? Windows is only ten dollars. Probably these trees, low key. Twenty three thousand dollars though. Jeez, ain't even nothing in here yet. Those are only forty dollars. Trees is fifty. Couldn't be the trees. Fifty five. These cars was only like what? Twenty dollars? Yeah, this car thirty dollars. This car twenty nine. What about these little lights? How much were these path lights? Uh, they was thirty a piece. That kind of racked that up. And then the ones next to it was thirty. That's probably what racked it up. It's alright though. We just have to save some money, but I definitely want Summer to get this place because this place is nice. So this is what we working towards. I need to get some lights for the ceiling too. These are only a dollar, so they shouldn't be too crazy. Let's do one, two, three, mm, do it like that. So like one every spot. That might be too bright. That might be too bright. Hmm. Yeah, I think that might be too bright actually. We ain't gonna worry about the lights right now. We'll wait until we get the artwork in here. We gotta, we gotta still stack up a lot of money. That's not that much though. I think we can make it. I'm about to pause this episode though, y'all. I didn't realize we almost hit two hours. Love y'all, man. Next episode, we're gonna grind it out. We're gonna try and get that art gallery and hopefully we can. It's not too much though. I did mean to change it though. I gotta change it to a retail lot, but I love y'all. Post in the comments what you think about this episode. Post in the comments about everything because the comments is the best place to get in touch with me and we can kick it like family. You see what I'm saying? Let me change this. Residential, we want that to be, we don't want an art center because even though this is gonna be an art studio, we wanna be able to sell. So yeah, let's make it retail. And we have a certain amount of requirements and that is a cash register. Now it's funny, they make you get a cash register, but they literally don't even use it. But I can put one in here easily. Let's put the cash register, uh, let's kind of make it like a front desk type thing. And then we'll put the cash register right here. So it's kind of like a front desk type situation. Not really sure if I'm gonna leave it like that or not. I might pull it in some actually. If I pull it in, I could technically just make this whole thing like the front desk and then people could buy. Cause if I leave that open, it helps with mobility though. Let's just leave it open. Let's leave it open. A waterfall would look nice in here too. I'm spending too much money as it is. I need to chill. I need to chill. We are not, we are not trying to make a studio. I'm pausing this episode. I love y'all. Y'all trying to get all these, these long ass episodes out of me. I'm trying to do longer videos, but I still had a mindset of putting one out like every other day. I can't do two, three hour videos every other day. That's just crazy. I do want to put more content out. I love y'all. Peace. Damn, I could sell this to the art gallery for $3,500. I just did that for 75. I'm about to go crazy off camera, y'all. I'm about to make like, I'm gonna make so many of these. Just different type too. What's up everybody? So this is gonna be the end of a video that y'all are gonna be probably in the middle of. You probably like, what the hell's going on? What's going on is I made a video after this video, but OBS, it played me. This is why I don't trust OBS, but OBS played me and the recording is really weird it's like it's almost like a slideshow but i don't want to i don't want y'all to miss out on the storyline so i'm like yo the rest of this video is really not gonna be video it's gonna be more audio with pictures <laughs> even, even though like i didn't put the pictures in that's how slow the quality of the video was i don't know what obs be doing sometime bro Streamlabs be just messing me up but we did a lot in this episode it's gonna be like an hour of me talking so Y'all can still kind of keep up with the storyline. I'm going to try and cut most of it out. Just it still might be an hour, though, because I recorded for two hours. So I'm just letting y'all know from this point on, it's going to be the new video that was going to be a separate episode. And it's uh, it's going to be really choppy and it's basically going to be like a slideshow. But here it is. And I love y'all anyway. If y'all stick through to the end of it, cool. If not, it's cool. Next episode, I finally figured it out. It had something to do with the preset that I was on, which is weird to me because I never changed it. It was like I came in from the eclipse and then the shit was just not working. So I don't know. But here's the video. I love y'all. Peace. I just I just got back in from uh looking at the solar eclipse, man. That shit was 
Bruh, that shit was magical, bruh. Like, I ain't gonna lie. Y'all know I'm a big science nerd. I'm a big space nerd. I'm a big, like, spiritual person. So, all of that shit, just experiencing that was insane. Me and my mom watched it, man. It was dope, bruh. I, I, I got footage, but, like, it's kind of, I wasn't really focused too much on getting footage because I just wanted to experience it. Such a good experience. But, uh... <laughs> But um, did y'all get to see it? Let me know in the comments if y'all saw it. I just washed my hair and I'm, it's, it's already getting on my damn nerves. I need to put something on to get this shit up off my forehead. I'm going to have to move though because I'm going to have to get at least three bedrooms because he going to need a bedroom. She going to need a bedroom and we going to need a bedroom. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? No, we need a bedroom. God, I got to get out of this household. I'm going to be just stuck up her ass the whole time. Can't help it, bruh. That's what makes The Sims great. Shit, she had that baby. I forgot she had that baby. So we got a third baby. She was pregnant, I think, the end of last episode. She actually had it. She was pregnant the end of the last episode, so she actually had the baby. I named him Sonny Daniel the third since it was a boy her other kids aged up i made them look like twins because they look like demon children when they aged up but i've been just working on the paintings like that's the biggest focus i've been working on because that's the way you make all the money you see <laughs> you see i've been grinding on look at all these paintings man that's all we've been doing is painting so we got all these new paintings this girl right here is actually our neighbor she came over so i had her model for us a few times so we got pictures of her we got the little kids we got a few drawings because it seemed like everybody wants to paint now so as soon as i would go into the other room jerome tried to paint something that's like one of these little stick figure pictures yeah this one Jerome drew that I mean not Jerome Romeo drew that and another one I think Lillian drew but then Lillian started drawing more and more so I was like yo that might as well make her a painter too so now Lillian's skill is a 10 summer skill is a 10 and they can both paint 10 summer still got more celebrity level though so she make way more money out of her pictures but um we got a few pictures I thought I had a few pictures of summer but I guess I didn't Oh yeah, this one. She looked like SZA so much in that picture. It's just her hair. I like that exact hair SZA has. The exact shape SZA has. So what am I trying to say? So yeah, man, these are all the paintings that we drew off camera. Some of these I really like though. Like I really like that one. I kind of like this one of the neighbor. I like that one of uh, uh, Rome with the dreads and the beard. Um, I kind of like that one too. These came out amazing. I don't know if y'all saw these or not. These came out really good. I don't know if I want to sell these or I want to throw them in my inventory and try to sell them at the store. I'm almost thinking I should throw them in my inventory and try to sell them at the store. Look at the twins, man. The twins is hella cute, yo. I made them over off camera. They hella cute, yo. That's Hazel and Basil. I think that's what I named the other one because it was like they're twins. They need to have twin names. You know what I'm saying? They cute as hell, though. Let's go in her inventory and let's see if we can pull some of this stuff out. We got 19 pictures. So let's just start. Oh, you could actually pull them out like that, huh? Oh, that's kind of dope. So we could just pull them out, stick them on the wall. Hey, this is kind of cool, y'all. I never did this before, so it's going to be the first time I've ever done anything even remotely like this, which is kind of cool. All right, so now we got all of that. What? How do I do this, though? Set store prices. Pricey. 50% markup. 100% markup. But how do I set stuff for sale? Oh, set for sale. Isn't there an easier way to do that? Toggle for sale tag. Oh, I guess... I guess it's not. I guess I got to go in there and do it on each one. So how much is he selling this for? How much are we going to get for these? I wish there was a button where you could like click a whole bunch of them. Open for business. Let's see what we can do. See, what's cool about doing art is that you actually don't have to pay nothing for this artwork. All this artwork is free from you just making it. And it's so this is cool wait i'm just trying to get a little thumbnail action it's not a great thumbnail but this is cool her grand opening yo grand opening for the art studio all right now let's see what we can do let's see what we can sell i want to keep the walls up now knowing this one you kind of got to let people do what they want to do you don't want to pressure them i guess you can greet them just to kind of make them a little happier but uh oh she must be a loiterer so you can tell them to get off your property if they're loitering 
Damn, that's kind of crazy. Oh, I got to go to work, too. All right, well, Lillian can take over. Lillian can take over. I hope somebody buys something for 50% more, though. That'd be nice. I've never done this before. We actually had an art studio and trying to sell art. It's actually kind of dope. And Summer's the one drew it. So it's like, it's really cool that you're not just selling normal furniture. Selling something that you made for only $100. Look like this dude might want to buy something in a minute. Go full screen on y'all. That's some eclipse action right there. That's all kind of eclipse space action. Oh, we got a buyer. We got a buyer. Ring up customer. Come on. Ring up customer. Oh, shit. My boy bought something. What you buying, bruh? Are you buying a, a picture of... Uh, Lillian? I would buy it. I would be the one to buy a picture of Lillian. I'm not going to lie. All right, now what you want? I ain't going to lie. My son, lucky that he got Lillian before I did because I would have swooped her ass up real quick. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I would have I would have swooped Lillian up real fast. What did he buy? Oh, he bought a picture of the neighbor. Okay, okay. I see you like the little schoolgirl action. I can respect it. They got my son in a gay shirt, bruh. Why they trolling me, bruh? Why they trolling me, bruh? That nigga, nigga gay, nigga gay, nigga gay, nigga gay, nigga gay, nigga gay, nigga gay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, I know, I know. Y'all don't think y'all think it's funny that I don't like it. Whatever. Come on. It's just I'm not with that shit. You got my son out here looking like a brothers cooking man this i swear i love the fact that they're so different and they both my son like they just both like i don't know they just fit like i really hope in the future i have two sons that are like them you know they just cool as shit one is a little bit smoother than the other one the other one's a little bit more rugged than the other one it's just cool it's a good mix too w brothers man w brothers hold up let's pound on the door bro because she ain't she she in there getting packed right now i'm not gonna lie everybody buying some. We only got a few more pictures left. Ooh, the little boy gonna buy it. What the hell? Yo, I was talking all that smack and the little boy bought it. That's crazy. I was not expecting the little boy to buy the picture. Little boy like a little chocolate booty, you know what I'm saying? A little Caucasian boy like a little chocolate booty. I ain't mad at him. I ain't mad at him. I'm closing the store. We made $35,000 today. $30,000, bruh. One thing that I do want to do, though, is I kind of want to, since we started this as a store, I kind of need to build a, a break room. I definitely need to build a break room. Not kind of. I need to build a break room. I also need the max wing. But I need to build a break room for sure. We do a simple stove top. That's cool. We'll do a stove top with a sink. Put the sink in there. Stove top. We'll do a uh we'll do a couch just so you can sit down. I should put a bed in here, shouldn't I? Is that too much though? I mean if I put a bed in here, they will be able to sleep because that's what you do in beds. <laughs> nah, but that's they be able to sleep. And that's kind of cool because if they're able to sleep, they can revitalize themselves quickly. Mostly if it's a 10 bed. This bed is a 10 bed. It's only 35 hundos. And we make, we lock this for everybody but employees. That's all you got to do. And then we could go in here right now, actually, take a shower, make something to eat. This is what's cool. Make something to eat. We can't do fun, unfortunately. That's the only thing we can't do. Maybe we could jack off in the shower or something. <laughs> Maybe we could jack off in the shower, yo. Raise his foot up, yo. Or go to sleep, get some rest. All of this within the store, which is really, really, really cool. I like that. I do need to make the outside look a little bit better, though. We can't have this, this little box just sitting on the outside of the, the store with no paint or nothing on it. That looks insane. Let's just paint this white so it looks like it's part of the... Kind of kills the vibe a little bit, but, you know, we ain't, we ain't tripping too heavy on it. I don't even know what I'm going to sell here, though. That's the thing. I don't even know what I'm selling here. We got $2,700. I mean, $27,000. That's a nice amount of money. We could start trying to bring together some tvs or something i swear tvs are the best way to make money in this game or any sims game i don't know if that's true though i swear i don't know if that's true but like i feel like that's the best money the best way to make money current retail store has twenty seven thousand dollars so we could spend twenty seven thousand dollars on on retail right now we can do that 
we can do that and we can do that by buying we could buy playstations we could buy see i think the tvs make the most because i mean you're talking about like a ten thousand dollar product so every time you sell it you're gonna make like ten thousand dollars off of it <laughs> this should be our this should be our mannequin for outside that should be our mannequin for outside <laughs> buy the tvs at bootytvs.com i don't know i like that but i'm not buying that so we got fifty six hundred dollars let's transfer that fifty let's let's transfer five thousand of that back to the household yeah so people aren't dying at the house it don't matter you know why it don't matter because i saw a solar eclipse today and that motherfucker was beautiful I'm not gonna lie. I mean, I'm thugged out, but I just seen a motherfucking rainbow, nigga. Nah, for real. That, that man, that's so eclipse, man. I really hope y'all saw it. Y'all probably saw it. Everybody saw it. But, like, experiencing that shit outside, a total, the total one, though. Because I've been in an eclipse before, but it wasn't a total eclipse. Matter of fact, yeah, watch that TV for a minute, bro. Get your fun up. Get your fun up on there. Come on, y'all. I know y'all want to buy something. You need a TV for your living room, for your, for your basement. TV for your living room. TV for your basement, bitch. Just buy a TV, buy a TV, maybe a computer. Buy a TV, buy a TV, buy a TV, bitch. Just buy a pewter, buy a TV, bitch. Buy a computer, don't stand around looking like no damn clown. Buy a computer or a TV at a discount. TV or at a discount. Oh, we got a buyer. Yo, I think this is um I think this is that dude's daughter. Yeah, that crazy dude. That's his daughter. He must have let y'all out the basement. What the hell? 87,000. You think we should start? Yo, what if we did what if we did cars and TVs? Cars and TVs.com. Sounds like a good website to me. Cars and TVs.com. Come down today and get your brand new car with a brand new TV. Maybe you could even buy a bitch while you're here. We have bitches of all different size. We have thick bitches. We have white bitches. We have black bitches. We have Asian bitches. We got bitches that'll cook you dinner. We got bitches that'll read the newspaper. We've got a bitch for every occasion. Stupid. <laughs> it's just stupid, Joe. Um, I do have prices right on here. I think it's the negative one, though. <laughs> We can sell cyber trucks they only five hundred dollars i want realistic price cars we got sixty thousand for jeep wranglers so we can sell a jeep wrangler i need to i need to make this look a little different i think i need to put the tvs on the back wall and the cars on the front what kind of cars are we selling though we can sell some shit Ooh, i can squeeze three you shouldn't have told me that i'm squeezing three of them tvs i could probably double them too i could probably put them just oh shit i can i could double them like that y'all look at that talk about maximizing profits i'm about to go crazy in this bit get rid of this wall we don't need it get peeping tina bruh yep good job good job that's cool that you can actually sell them off the top too damn she's a vampire that be moving that be moving that's crazy how quick they get around cletus need a new car man cletus you need a new car man go and get you a oh look like we got a customer check her out oh he already going to check her out right now bro already on top of it is she buying the car don't tell me she buying the car bro why are you not checking her out is she buying a car Ooh, she just got a brand new car she just got a brand new car y'all all right that is really good. Let's restock that. It's going to cost a lot of money, but we're going to restock it. We're going to restock the car. All right, put that 50 back in it. Kind of want to buy another one, though. How much we got? We got 83000 right now. We got $83,000. Let's buy another one. Let's buy another one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's buy another one. I could buy some more TVs, too, but that car hit different. I mean, that's the goal, to make bigger sales so we make bigger profits. I want to make like 20000 on the sale. Everybody inside the car, they ain't, they ain't buying, though. Hurry up and buy, bro. Hurry up and buy, boy. Hurry up and buy. Ooh, shit. Somebody got a customer. Got a customer. Got a customer. Stop what you doing, bro. Check him out. Check him out. Let's go with that 8 Series. Go with that 8 Series. Put that joint for sale. Yes, sir. It's a nice car, too. Dang, it's looking nice. I ain't gonna lie. I know Red Shirt want one. He got the little, little frat boy look going. I know you want one, Red. I know you want one. You might as well buy it here at carsandtvs.com. 
bruh. Stop trying to have sex with me. God, dog. Y'all some gay motherfuckers in this town. Jeez. Ain't no women trying to have sex, but all these men is. That shit is crazy. I got a wife anyway. I ain't trying to mess with none of y'all. I'm just trying to buy another BMW. I want another eight series. We got $83,000, so I can almost get one. Somebody need to hurry up and buy though. We come a long way from living in a damn tent in the middle of nowhere. That's where all of this started from, man. Now my son is out here selling million dollar, well not million dollar, hundred thousand dollar cars. That's what life is all about, man. Growth, you know what I'm saying? How much is BMW gonna go for though? 150, damn, bruh. So we make a hundred, we make $50,000 in profit on a $100,000 car. Yeah, that's that's definitely what we're doing. We're buying another BMW. We about to be a BMW dealership because that shit is crazy. We got enough to buy two? I got 133? Oh yeah, I do got 133. Oh yeah, we becoming a BMW dealership for sure. As soon as we get that Lexus out of here, we selling BMWs. Wait, I knew Red wanted a BMW. Look, I knew he did. I knew you wanted a BMW. You think you gonna get some bitches in this BMW, don't you? You ain't about to get no bitches, bruh. The BMW ain't gonna help you. Yes, sir. Got that 150. Go ahead and restock that joint for 100 over here, though. Ain't nobody even trying to buy no TVs no more. I'm thinking we should probably even not even bother with them. Bruh, I think this whole two-hour episode is messed up. I've been sitting here recording for two hours and I think the footage is messed up. I don't even know. This is why OBS, like, I love OBS. But at the same time, like it'd be weird shit like that that happens. I'm not gonna lie. I don't think that footage is right. Which means everything we just did, I'm gonna have to just summarize it in like two minutes and start over. It's like OBS is running mad slow right now. Look at that. That was amazing. <laughs> All of those long, hard hours of working definitely pay off. I see that. I see that. Sunny Daniel Enterprises.